What's up guys? We are still updating you what is going on, what is trending in Nigeria. Greetings to you wherever you are. So I have a quick update to share with you. I don't want to waste much of your time. I want to do this real quick. Of course, uh, it is still related to the ongoing political crisis between the Simfubra, the River State Governor and the uh, FCT Minister yes, of Wiki. All right, so let me begin. Uh, let me begin from somewhere. Of course, we are already aware of the judicial panel of inquiry that was set up by Simfubra after the local government election. Where about was it three to five uh, local government secretariat in the River State was set ablaze by uh, hoodlums? Uh, before Simfubra or set up the judicial panel of inquiry. We all remember what happened after Simfubra set up that uh, judicial panel of inquiry. Uh, yes, um, Wike, uh, during an interview, I think that was with the uh, channel's television, uh, said he has contacted his legal team to make sure that Simfubra do not, you understand, proceed with that judicial panel of inquiry. You understand? All right, so I have um, a quick update to share with you on uh, that the report of that judicial panel of inquiry. Uh, Wesim Fubra, you understand, has vowed to implement the report of that state commission of inquiry. You understand, on the destruction of local government secretariats, no matter who is involved. So Fubra made this uh, declaration at the presentation of the commission's report by its chairman justice, uh, Ibiwengi uh, uh, Mingiri, uh, that is a serving judge of the state high court at the government house in Port Harcourt. He emphasized the need to end what he described as unreasonable violence in reverse politics. According to him, politics should not be synonymous with violence. Uh, but a contest of ideas with permanent, without a permanent enemy or friends. The governor applauded the commission for its uh, resilience in completing uh, the tax, despite attempts to derail the work, including legal challenges and other forms of obstruction. Uh, he then wondered why anyone would oppose a commission dedicated to uncovering the truth and express uh, this belief that individuals who invested in building council complexes could later destroy their own legacies. You guys should understand uh, what Simfubra is trying to say there. You understand? So, though it's more like a parable, but he's indicting someone anyhow. I'm not going to mention name. So, citing past incidents, Simfubra linked those responsible for the uh, recent attacks on council buildings to a previous act of violence, including the bombing of court before the 2015 election. While restricting um, his stance on accountability, the governor affirmed that no one, including himself, is above the law. All right, guys, so the chairman of the seven member commission, Justice uh, Ibiwingi uh, Minakiri, uh, detailed the methodology used in compiling that um, report. She noted that uh, visit to affected local government areas, uh, that is Kana, Eleme, Ikwere, Emoha, and uh, Obiakbo, were instrumental in verifying claims from submitted uh, memoranda. According to the justice, the commission's proceedings revealed hidden facts about the state and concluded on November 28th uh, within the stipulated 30 days assigned by the governor. And then the report presented uh, in four volumes includes memoranda, exhibits, records, and proceedings and findings. So the justice urged FUBRA to implement the recommendations to ensure lasting peace in the state. According to her, she said some individuals indicted in the memoranda failed to appear before the commission for their defense. Of course, you remember, I updated you guys of recent, uh, Wike and uh, the recent uh, APC chairman in River State, um, Tony, uh, I've forgotten about it. Tony Okocha, yeah, something like that. 
Tony Okocha was invited by that commission to appear before them. Uh, that is the uh, commission of inquiry. Uh, they invited Tony Okocha and Wiki, but they failed to uh, appear before the commission. So uh, she concluded by expressing hope that the report implementation will deter future violence and restore stability across uh, River State. So now that Simfubra has made up his mind, you understand, uh, to make sure all the recommendations by that uh, commission inquiry will be taken into uh, consideration. And then the, the recommendation is what well, I don't know, but Simfubra has vowed to make sure no matter who is involved, okay, that those indicted for the attacks on Rivers Local Government Secretariat won't go uh, free. And then the, I don't want to mention them, but you guys should be able to understand where Simfubra is driving at because after the local government election, where the APP, yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Where the APP uh, took over all the local government in River State, automatically, uh, you know, removing the, the structure of uh, Wiki in uh, River State, and then uh, the team in Pen Wiki well, well. So Wiki has vowed never to support Simfubra politically. And then the, remember what Tony uh, Okocha said after he was made. Uh, the interim chairman of APC in River said that everything, he will do everything humanly possible to make sure that Simfubra will be removed in 2027 as the governor of uh, River State. So that is the plan. So it will take wicked to, the, uh, to arrive at nothing to make sure that he do not allow Simfubra to have a second tenor as the River State uh, governor, but of course, uh, Wiki is not God, all right. He may be, uh, you know, behaving like a demigod, uh, that's in FCT, of course. Uh, his attitude towards other politicians, some people believe that Wiki is untouchable, even during the inauguration of Simfubra. Um, I offer your share to Simfubra that if it comes to political fight. Uh, that um, he will surrender to Wiki. So uh, Wiki, people see him as a kind of emperor, his uh, utterances to other PDP governors. Remember when he said that any PDP governor that wants to take away the structure of uh, PDP in River State, that he will make sure he put fire on their state. And then you begin to wonder, put fire, okay? put what kind of fire? Because PDP governors is supporting Simfubra as one of them. You understand? Other governors in PDP, they are supporting their own. And then you believe that other PDP governor wants to put, uh, you know, a, a climb down or destroy the structure of PDP in River State. Of course, the PDP don't have any structure again. PDP may still have structure because... Uh, Fubra is still a member of PDP in River State, okay? He's still the leader as we speak. You understand? So the structure is still there. But when we come talking about structure, Wiki doesn't have any structure again. Not in local government, council laws, uh, house of assembly. He doesn't have any structure in River State again. So let us now watch and see what Wiki will do because at the end of the day, remember Wiki and Tony Okocha uh, they are five and six. At the end of the day, he may end up supporting APC in River State. You understand? To see how he will be able to remove Simfubra as the governor in 2027. Uh, but the latest update I quickly want to update you is that uh, Simfubra has vowed to make sure that he, you know, follow the uh, the commission's recommendation, and anybody that is found culpable will be dealt with. So what does that tell us? Is that an indictment to Wiki? Because with everything, all the findings, remember what the, the chairman of the commission said, that the people that were indicted was invited, you understand? But they didn't show up. And who were those people? Wiki and Tony Okocha. 
However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.